welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I am in-house art geek here to talk to you today about some fun stuff that you may not know. Uh, if you haven't tried using rubbing alcohol with your acrylic painting, you got to do it. What are you waiting on? Life's just going and you're waiting around on what? Like, who knows? And I can't believe how many years I went painting with acrylic and didn't even know that you could do this. But I came to a Saturday demo at Cheap Joe's and then voila. And I was like, what? So you're gonna have that kind of same reaction when you see this. We have a time-lapse demo of uh, myself. I'm working on um, uh, Cheap Joe's Kilimanjaro 300 pound cold press watercolor paper with golden acrylic and you will love this now did you know that you can remove uh, already completely dried acrylic with rubbing alcohol you can so what does that mean to you well that fixes a whole litany of ills once you uh, get into something and you don't like where it's going you can actually take rubbing alcohol onto a paper towel a q-tip an old toothbrush, something like that, and douse the rubbing alcohol on there and then just rub it over the surface and use a dry paper towel to pick up anything that you don't want and it works great. What this also means is that you can apply subsequent layers of paint, do a lot of really into intricate glazing and layering um, and get a lot of really rich dimension and then almost like erase back into down to the layer that you want to retain and so you have this almost multi-level composition going on now what i'm doing uh, today has several layers um, and what i tried to do was establish a background color and you will find that the end result didn't have anything to do with that initial background color and that's fine um, but what I did do was apply some clear gesso and some um, golden gel on top of it allow that to dry and then apply paints and all kinds of other stuff on top of it and then when it would get kind of dull and kind of losing direction pump it up with a little bit of alcohol, draw back into the surface and create all kinds of different things. Now, on this particular video, <laughs> you will notice that I'm kind of rambling around and kind of aimlessly wandering compositionally and it, it just, you know, they, they're not all tens, what can I say? Um, so this one, you know, started out about 11 by 14 and I had hoped that it, the finish size would end up being that, but it kind of didn't end up going the way I wanted it to go. But that doesn't mean that it's all for naught. Yeah, you know, beat yourself up, it's okay. Um, so what you can do is um, find the pieces in the larger piece that still work for you. So like I cut this up into several pieces um, and was able to make like some smaller items that I thought were pretty successful in and of themselves compositionally and then also had some really nice collage pieces that I can use later. Um, so, you know, don't cry, it's all right, you know, it's just stuff. Um, and as long as you're having a good time, it's all worth it. So enjoy playing around with some alcohol in a healthy way and um, enjoy yourself, have a good time, make some art.